Right, so that was lovely to see that little bridge, wasn't it? So here we are, we've got the River Lynn. It's the music of the Lynn will be following us to Waters Mate in a minute. According to the map, we stay this side of the river all the way. There might be a small section where we cross and then almost come back again. But it was interesting to see that ore sign back there. Because I thought there was another way to get to Brendan from ore. Um, rather than the route I've come now. A more direct route. So that's very good. And it was a Coleridge. It's Coleridge, yeah, because you would have, from Ore, you would have had to cross over that bridge back there, the big one, and come this way. You can't sort of follow, but you've got to keep your eyes out for the signs the whole time. A little tributary coming down. When you got to, what you've got to remember, try not to get attracted to going down there for it, for example. You just have a look at the river. There's probably a village hall or something in there. Yeah. Like I said, it saves me having to walk all the way up here tomorrow. That was the plan of today. There was a bit extra or but I couldn't fit it in, so I would have to have done a different route from or. So I'm quite happy to do this. We're getting there, that's the main thing. We're getting there. It doesn't matter, it's a lovely evening. Over and out for a minute, someone coming. Right, I've passed through a mill. I haven't seen one sign for Wordsworth. Um, you know, the Coleridge sign, I mean. Because I haven't seen the Coleridge sign for ages. Nor yellow marker. But I'm following the river like they told me to. I've got no idea if I'm going right or wrong. But it's beautiful. They said just keep following the river. So that's what I'm doing. Right, stop. Right, folks. Nice little seat here. It's six o'clock-ish now. I've really got to get a move on, but I've reached somewhere I feel happier seeing. Water's meat. So I might have to put a bit of a spurt on in a minute. Because, uh... <sighs> Yellow marker. Don't get... Don't go off the thing. That's what's the best thing to say. What does that say? Fisherman only, yeah, look, yellow marker, yellow marker, that's the main sign. I mean, it always worries me you never see anyone, you know what I mean? You might meet them at her. I don't reckon they went all the way to Lymouth, I'm not. I don't reckon they did. Not with a child. At least you haven't got the sun in your eyes, Shell. Right, this could be the Coleridge way, everyone. I've got no idea. I'm going through another coombe now. Um... There is a river crossing. I don't know whether I have to cross it briefly near a pub. I'm not sure. At the moment, I'm feeling all right. I'm going to. I'm putting on a bit of a pace going down the hills. Um, I feel okay. I feel I can do it. 
but you know I was like strolling along like I do so I, I, what I do I'll slow up on the hills go quick down them or quicker no one about it's evening no one about no one out evening walking or anything it's amazing isn't it Stag, Hunt, Stag Hunter's Pub is supposed to be near here, but there is a road there. If I got really scared, I'd just go on a road, you know. But it's weird how the Coleridge sign has gone. Well, I feel as if this lane has been here for two or three hundred years. That wall looks ancient. The Coleridge might be on a road over there, see, I mean... All I know, most of this map tells you to follow the river on this side. There we go, what does that say? I always read all the little signs. Yeah, that's for fishing rights. I mean, if, if this isn't the Coleridge route, I don't know where it went. I got lost at that mill. If this comes to a dead end now, I should be scared as well. Tell the truth. There's a house here. Spooky house. Spooky house in the countryside. Little bridges, look. I wonder if anyone lives in that. Looks a bit derelict, doesn't it? Does look a bit derelict, very remote as well. Very remote. No name or anything. I just call it the White House. It's broadening up a bit here. I mean, if I got to walk five miles now, I mean, there's no no one's shown me how far I'm walking. Um, then I'll think to myself, that's all right, I can do it. I don't know about doing it in three hours though, but the closer I get to Lynmouth, the better. So if I've got to go through any dark, spooky, wooded areas, it's best to do it now. But I've got to put, I've got to put a bit of pace on. Like I said, if it, got, if it gets really worrying, I'll just go, I'll go and join a proper road. I'm videoing all this so you can feel the emotions of the walk. There is fear in there. Sometimes there's fear, there's anxiety, there's joy, there's ecstasy. There's everything in my walks. That's true. So basically, we've got the River Lynn still flowing like the fast river down to Lynmouth. Very beautiful. There's no sunshine on this side, and I haven't seen a, a feather for ages. Here's a there's a guardians of the gate. Look, guardians of the gate. So this is a, they said it wasn't marked, didn't they? They said it wasn't marked. Oh, in a minute, I'm going to turn the camera off. I just get down to this light area. Because I'm sure there was um, a place where they said you might have to. Wouldn't be awful if it comes to a dead end now. I'd be, I would be scared. I would. It's coming, I've got to go in the dark wood. Look, through that coom. There we are, a bit of some nice slated wall there. Lots of history. Through the spooky wood we go. 
want to see some deer. If I'm quiet now, I'm going to turn off. <laughs>